Now we're gonna show you the 2020 surf lineup for phase five. All of these boards are gonna be built with our FlexTech version two technology. This is a lightweight, strong construction that's gonna keep the board very responsive, very fast, and very durable, which is everything you really expect from a phase five board. All right, last year we brought back one of our first surfboard shapes, the Aku. One of my personal favorites. Comes with your paint splatter art. Also with the twin fin, gets super loose with a wide tail that's super forgiving. This is a crowd favorite surfboard from Phase 5. Comes in two sizes, 53 inch, 58 inch. Uh, super good board from anyone from a beginner up to an advanced surf style rider. Okay, here we have the Phantom designed by Parker Payne. This was your top selling board last year, its first year on the line, pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, some really cool features on this board. You'll see it in quite a few of our surfboards. We've got a carbon stringer in there. It's gonna help with a little bit of the stiffness. Uh, still our FlexTech V2 technology, so it's gonna still have a little bit of that ocean surf feel, a little bit of rebound to it. Um, this has got a thinner profile, so it's not as much volume as a lot of our other surfboards, and it's got a slim down rail to rail shape. Um, this is gonna allow for better spin tricks. Um, if you've seen Parker ride, he's doing 360 shove -its and you know a lot of skim style tricks. Um, keeping this board a little narrower is letting the board rotate a little bit easier for him. Um, it's gonna come in a quad fin. So you'll have your two front fins will be our standard phase five fins and then it's gonna have the nubbits in the back. Um, again, you can see the carbon stringer, squared off nose for those revert tricks. Um, great board, top seller, like John just mentioned. Um, comes in a 50 inch, a 53 inch, and a 57 inch. Um, I've got to ride it a little bit, super fun board. Um, a good intermediate to advanced board, um, but you can certainly throw a beginner on it, let them cruise. I like this board for how light it is. It releases for really good airs. I was getting some of my better airs on this board. And also this year, what I want to point out is the carbon fins that we have. It's carbon with honeycomb, so they're super light, so even your fin's a little lighter. Sometimes I even take out these nubbit fins to get a little looser feel and I try 360s and stuff like that. Sometimes I like them in for a bit more drive. So lots of options here. All right, here we got the 2020 Phase 5i. This is a board that we scaled down from nose to tail, rail to rail, pulled it in, made it a little bit narrower. Um, it's gonna be a lot more responsive for a lighter rider um, that wants to be aggressive, wants to go out there and throw the big airs like the pros, but a standard size board, just a little bit too much for them. This board will have the FlexTech version two technology like the rest of our surfboards. Quad fin setup, so you're gonna have your standard 3.7 inch fins on the front, nubbits in the back. Um, I know when I ride a surfboard, I personally will take the nubbits out. I like to have a little bit more of a loose feel. Gives a little bit more pivoty when you're spinning 360s and stuff like that. Um, overall, super good board, again, for the smaller rider that wants to get aggressive. We wanna see the young guns blasting airs and the lighter riders going bigger, and this is the board that we created for you guys to have something that fits you. The eye comes in a 49 inch and a 53 inch for 2020. All right, now we have the Phase 5 Swell by Stacia Bank. She has a nice parallel rail on this board for fast riding. Traditional squash tail for that good fit in the back of the wave and plenty of push. And she also came with this pulled in snub nose that really fits into the pocket of the wave and also releases well for turns and airs. So this board's gonna come with the quad fin setup. We've got the 3.7 inch fins with the nub bits in the back. Again, can always change fins out, switch them around, get a different feel. Um, I really like this board because of that pulled in stub nose. So for 2020, this board will come in a 53 inch, a 55 inch, which is brand new this year, and then a 58 inch. Here we got the 2020 Phase 5 Ahi. Um, the Ahi was a top seller last year, but as I'm holding this one looking, got a little bit different shape going on here. John, what do we got? Yeah, so we changed up the Ahi this year. I redesigned it. It was one of my personal favorite boards, and I just wanted to bring a true ocean feel to the wake surfing scene. So we got the traditional nose with a lot of rocker, then we got the swallow tail. A little bit wider this time for a little extra push. Wide for a good release too, coming with a quad fin, the carbon stringer down the center. This board comes in a 53 and a 58, so it leaves some wiggle room for bigger riders to try the 58 and real aggressive riders to get on that 53 and boost some airs. Here we got the 2020 Phase 5 Kong, 63 inches, um, nice long board outline. It makes this board very forgiving. It also gives us a lot of volume, so the bigger rider, 300 plus pounds, this will be your ticket. We can get on it, you can cruise behind the boat, you can be able to turn it, cruise around, have some fun. Um, full EVA deck pad. 
So if you're a smaller rider that's just out for some fun, you got some room to walk around like a traditional longboard. Um, it's gonna come with a quad fin setup. So you're gonna have your bigger 4.3 inch fins, nubs in the middle. It's gonna give you lots of stability, lots of traction on the wave. It's also gonna keep you with enough speed going down the line. Real forgiving, rounded off tail. It's gonna let the board roll over. Make nice smooth turns. Again, 63 inches. Any of you big guys out there, the Kong is for you. All right, here we have the doctor. This board is pretty much for anyone that's having some issues, staying in the wave. Visit the doctor and they'll fix all your issues. This board is designed for a bigger rider in mind that wants to be aggressive and go out there and do some tricks. Wide profile, it's gonna give you lots of float, lots of speed. It comes in a 55 inch, a 57 inch, and a 59 inch, which aren't big gaps, but as this board goes taller up in a size, it's actually gonna get a little bit wider. So as you're a heavier rider, you're gonna get the board that's gonna be just right for you on float, speed. Um, you can cruise this board behind the boat. You can also go out there and bust airs, bust 360s, and have a lot of fun. Um, big wide nose, keeps it moving fast forward for you. Quad fin setup. So you can play with your fin configuration, make it spin a little more, make it have more grip. Um, great board, a lot of fun. If you're a big guy that wants to go after it and really get radical behind the boat, the doctor is what you need. All right guys, brand new board for 2020 phase five. This is the Wahoo. Um, as I look at it, I see the peanut shape. Um, from my board and the skim line, I know how the peanut shape works in the skim style board. Uh, this is my first time seeing it in the surf line. John, what do we got here? I would just say that the peanut shape does add some extra speed. You can see that the water is going to miss this inside section. And also, where my feet are going, I have, a, I have it widening out in the back foot, which gives me that good float and push from the back of the wave. And then when I get on my front foot, it really wants to hit high speeds once you get on that front foot, missing the water here a little bit. And we're going with the snub nose here, which fits in the pocket and releases on turns and airs. So I would say that the Wahoo is a cool new design for 2020. If you're looking to spice up your quiver this year, I would think going with this board would be something really cool and new to try. This board also comes in a 53 and a 56. We'd love to see you guys try our new shape, so get out there and rip something new in your quiver. Brand new for 2020, the Phase 5 Biscuit. Full EVA deck pad, fiberglass bottom, nice wide outline, it's gonna be a nice fast board, twin fin configuration. Uh, this board's gonna be really good for a beginner to intermediate rider. Um, you know, it's gonna take a beating if you're running into the back of the boat, if it's a new rider that's learning, a little bit scared of a harder rail board, this is gonna be the perfect board for you. Um, it's gonna carve, it's gonna cruise, you're gonna be able to do some airs on it, a uh, lot of fun and a little bit of a safety factor, you know, keeps you nice and safe while you're out riding. I would say this is just your just for fun board. You got a full deck pad, you can put your feet anywhere you want, super durable, great all around board to have on the boat. And that's gonna be a 54 inch board.